What's up, ninjas? It's D here, and we're back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to edit your Vroid beta hairstyles in the new updated version. Because if you haven't tried already, you'll see that it actually deletes your hair whenever you try and edit it in the updated model. So I'm just going to show you how to go around that stupid thing in a very cheap way. <laughs> but it works. All right, so as you can see, this is the updated Vroid Studio. We're just gonna grab a file that I already converted. It does take a while to convert a beta model to a newer model. It is what it is. This program is very slow. What you're gonna do is go to hairstyle at the top. You're just gonna grab any of these random ones, click it, and you'll notice that your hair disappears, which of course is a huge freak out for any of us. You're gonna hit edit hairstyle and you're gonna hit control Z also known as undo, and your hair just appears. I don't know why this works. You can control it, you can change it up, whatever, it works. Uh, you'll notice that on the right side though that the texture colors and images don't appear. It is what it is, I don't know why that is. Uh, but you can delete it, as you can see. One of the best things about this update is that you can delete materials now, which is something we could never do. And this program is so effing slow, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that that's the cheap way. You now can edit your hair, although it's not the most like, what the hell's going on here, but you can do it. So yay, I think the program just froze. <laughs> ah, it worked earlier, so whatever. And then when you exit out, you're gonna hit save as new item, which basically means you're creating a quote unquote hair preset like I've seen on the right side, I've saved a couple out just to test it out and it works. However, you can't, at least I haven't figured out how to yet drop my other hair presets from my beta version to this new version yet. Because if you check the folders, you'll notice that it's a little different. So if you go to Vroid Studio, which is the new one with the space, you go to hair presets, nothing appears, but obviously there's three things here. It appears in custom items all hair for whatever reason and this is the new file type it's no longer a json file so in a sense maybe we can like share our custom made hair presets in the updated version but it's a little janky because i can't you know you can't rename these because these don't have a name it's so stupid and i will figure it out eventually but this is how you add an old hair in the newer updated version so you can edit it and that yeah so it's it's stupid but it works as you can see now you can yeah you can still edit it so it's great you know it's not like all is lost but it was stupid and it i actually found this out while i was venting about this program in a different video uh yeah but personally i do not plan to be using this updated version until it gets another update it's so slow and a little janky on my part it's great if you're starting from scratch, honestly, because look at all these awesome hairs. But if you're trying to edit something that you already created, I think it's just, it's no bueno. It's too much. But that's how I feel about it. So yeah, that's it. I hope that was helpful. I feel like it would be um, for a lot of people who are trying to update their models. And uh, yeah, if you could, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment below what videos you want to see next. I'm going to be really messing around with this update and I'll post as many tutorials as I discover things. So I'll check you guys later. Bye.